fix it, guys, because this is this is fucked. I've made a fucking nightmare here. Ah, oh, shit. Get out. Oh, you bastards. Get out. I've had enough. Ugh. Mm -hmm. You have to grow the plants inside. Uh, they have to be able to reach the plants, I believe, yeah. So, my thinking was to have them sort of isolated. And then on one side, I'll just have it so they've got an access, if that makes sense. Like, something like that. Uh, the problem is I've got a shitload of shine bugs in here now as well. <laughs> oh, fuck! Get out! Okay, let's try and get let's try and get these bastards out of it. Oh, uh, and these ones, these ones are just jerks. Mm -mm. How do you use hydroponic farms correctly? Like, I'm not watering them right. Uh, how do you mean lumber? Mm -mm -mm. Can I just wrangle? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can wrangle these off here. That's not a problem. I'm going to I'm gonna raise this uh, ceiling up a little bit, I think, so that I can actually fit buildings under it properly. I'll just build this across. I do have an idea what I'm doing. I just I wanted it to be symmetrical, but I can't figure out how to do it without... Blocking off part of the uh, part of the base. Uh, and what I could do as well is do this. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I have a dream. It's going to be glorious. Uh, Crip Fist, thank you very much for the follow, mate. You came into the stream at a very, very bad time, as I say. I'm struggling. I get frustrated when I don't know what exa exactly what I'm doing. Which happens quite a lot, let's be honest. But I have a plan. I have a plan. It's going to work. It's going to be glorious. And it's going to be like, oh shit, that's a really good plan. How did you think up that plan that was so sweet? And I'll be like, yeah. Mm. I don't actually need this to be a door here, do I? I don't know why I'm doing this at all. Let's, um, actually. Mm -mm. Let's just cancel that entirely. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, what the fuck was that? Uh-oh. Right, so, how many tiles will this be? This will be 16... Oh, shit. How big can this be? 96. 32. 64. Okay, we can go bigger with this. This won't work, I can't put meal ice up there. But I can put a shearing station up there. Oh shit. Gene is stuck. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I need to get all these shine bugs out. Honestly, they're really being a pain in the ass. So maybe we'll disable this for a minute. Stop that. No. Stop that. There we go. Let's try and get these shine bugs away. We'll cancel these for a minute. Sorry, I've not been reading chat because I'm, I'm dealing dealing with stuff. Um, mm, why not have a pen to breed and a separate pen to shear? That's what people keep telling me to do, Vicious. That's what people keep saying for me to do, but I don't want to do that. I want to have it all in the same place. It's going to be nice. Get out. What can I do to attract these shine bugs? And get them out of here. I don't want to kill them. How many shine bug eggs do I have? Three. How could I get these shine bugs out of here? Why is that shine bug with a broom up his butt? Oh, do you mean the little the little tag? I think it's because we've tamed it. We've tamed it basically. Mm -mm. Who knows what life is doing? Fuck you, GG. You've not even played this update. Shut up. Mm -mm -mm. Be good to grow and harvest. Wait, this pen would be amazing at growing pinch of pepper nuts, which would be great to grow and harvest from this area. Vicious side, what, what are you talking about? Sorry, buddy. Go pepper nuts and share the Dracos. Laws or another rub, uh, rub station to draw them away. As in, put like a station up here. I'm close to just executing them. Although this won't work if it's in a room, will it? If it's not in a room, sorry. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> Dude, isn't that temperature way too hot for me? Would yes, vicious. You are pointing out things that I'm aware of, buddy, but I'm struggling at the moment. I'm trying to get some wheeze warts up here. I want to get wheeze warts, but I can't at the minute because I'm struggling with dupes being able to get into access to this ice biome. So we were we were struggling with this ice biome like five or ten minutes ago. Uh, I'm assuming you just joined in. Um, because of that, I can't get any more wheeze warts up here, meaning I can't cool off the area enough. I could put some ice sculptures down, but then I've got water pissing out around the base, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just waiting for a minute um, to hopefully cool things off a little bit. It is going to be too warm up here. It's very warm because it's a fucking igneous biome up here, which is toasty hot. But once the wheeze warts start kicking in, it will cool off. I think I might just steal a wheeze wart from down here for now, because we'll be using these generators less, I think. Yeah, we'll, up, we'll uproot this one. This will help us a little bit. Um, I'm getting a little bit salty because everybody's chipping in in chat like you've all played thousands of hours of this game. I have not. I have not played much of this update. So you need to chill the fuck out and stop the back seating because it's starting to wind me up. So just be nice. Help me. Encourage me. Don't call me a fucking noob. It starts getting salty, guys. You wouldn't call it me to my face. So don't do it just because you're on your keyboard. It's really, really obnoxious. So listen, I'm new. I'm getting salty. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure it out. Give me a fucking break. Alright? That's what I need. So, fuck it. The shine bugs are dying. I've had enough. Die. You want meat now. 
Very salt. Very salty. Okay. So. Mm -mm. I'm going to dump my, my Dracos back in here. I'm going to wrangle this bastard that's on the loose outside. <laughs> salt bits, the best. Thanks, race bro. Listen, there does come a point, guys, where I have to say, for fuck's sake, calm your tits. I did tell you many, many times, I've not played this update. I'm learning on stream. Like, the first time you played this game, did you all know exactly what the fuck you were doing? No. So shut up. Okay. Let's get this tidied out. Um, I really don't want my dupes to have to do anything to these crops. I think we just want them to just be left alone. Uh... I can turn this off, can't I? Uh, if we go to harvest, I want disabled harvest. We'll just leave these going. Okay. All I need to do is start consuming some more of this hydrogen. Pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> I'm on it, Leppy. I'm on it. I'm doing it. Right. How big is this room? It's too fucking big. Okay. So if I put a pneumatic door in, let me think about this. If I put a pneumatic door in here and left it open, technically this would be a farm. This would be, oh shit, I've got four in here now. Hmm. So I want this to be an oxygen environment, but then they'll be able to run off to hydrogen. That's what I want. But if I put a door between, Oh, I should have done this higher. If I'd have done this one higher, I could have done two birds with one stone, really. Hmm. Um, what do Dracos give you? Uh, in their normal form, they give you thimble reed fiber. Um, when they are, when you get a glossy Draco, it gives you um, plastic, and that's kind of what I want. Deep breath, think relaxing thoughts, apple blossoms and the like. I know, uh, rabid. That's what my Serenity Now fucking um, thing on OBS is meant to be. When it's all getting too much. Finally killed the bastards, yes. Alphanetics, good evening, mate. How's it going? Uh, no animations anymore, life. Uh, there should have been. Did that not play the thing? Maybe use normal tiles to block hydrogen, not airflow tiles. I wasn't trying to block the hydrogen as such. It's just that I'm not consuming it at the minute. Um, what I probably should do is put in a power grid. That's probably what I should do. We're just not. We're not consuming very much power at the minute. So I've got this one hydrogen gen, but it's not really doing jack shit. Are you still sipping coffee or what substance does that mug contain? It is coffee, but because it's hot, I've not been drinking lots of hot drinks, so I think I'm low on caffeine as well. Mm. How did the hatch killing room go? I feel I fell asleep watching. Excess, how's it going, buddy? Uh, the hatch killing room worked beautifully. We killed all of our hatches. It was great. They are all dead now. Um, I did do a little video on YouTube, mate. It is on video uh, on YouTube if you want to have a nosy. They all died very well. Right. Let me just slap some of these and see if we can cool this off a little bit quicker. I've still got the problem with too much hydrogen up here. I'm debating whether to do a little overflow tank. Which we could do quite easily. You know what, fuck it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm coming away from this for a minute because I want to sort some other things in the base and it's wound me up a lot. I'm sorry for getting salty guys, but holy shit. At times, literally, the back seating is a little bit too much. You know what I know what I'm doing, I just don't know what I'm doing in this update. So you need to give me a fucking break sometimes. Um, that aside, I'm moving on. I want to do an oxygen cell. The whole point of us having this slush geyser 
was so that we could use the slush water to cool some oxygen for our base. So, we have a water supply down here and an overpressurized tank. Um, like an idiot, I didn't give myself access to this tank from the outside, which I should probably have, have done really, but I did not. So, what we do have here is a water feed, and a water feed I can feed some electrolyzers off. Now, there isn't actually that much water backed up. Um, this is going to be dormant for another 30 cycles, so it's only going to give us so much water before we need to go and cap this. Um, we don't know where our other cool steam vent is yet, because uh, I've not found it. At least I don't think I have. I've not really done a scan of the map in a while. I don't think we've found it. Um, so I've only got so much water, so I'm a little bit scared of running out of oxygen, to be honest. I can always dig more algae, but you've seen, like, clearing out this whole slime biome here, we've pretty much pissed through all the algae that we got. So, I don't know if there's any other geysers that I've missed, or I've just not explored enough yet. It doesn't look like it. But I need to use up some power, as silly as that may sound. I can't balance the hydrogen up here until either I use up the power or I do an overflow tank. So, that is the thing. Top tip of the day, Dracos can go through water locks. Yeah, they, they die in my water locks. If you do a double liquid water lock, they die. Uh, just wait until it gets strike for animal cruelty. <laughs> Make the second input while dormant. You're on about this, aren't you, Mix? Yeah, I was thinking that to use to use up some power. Yeah, fuck it. I think we're gonna do a, an electrolyzer build because it's something we need to get done. Um, I'm thinking we'll use some space down here for it. What sort of build should we do, guys? We do a different build every playthrough. We tried to. What sort of build would you like? Oh, you mean down here? Hmm. I could just bridge into it in fairness, Max, but... I was just going to build another tank somewhere, if, to be fair. Uh, how do you feel about some lights? What do you mean, Dragon Logic? Uh, just one power to get refined metal. Uh, with kin What's Kinkasa Hasher in? Sorry, mate, what do you mean? Just one power to get refined metal. How do you mean? Before I build this, should we do a build in the base? That's another option we could do. Although then, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. If I do a build in the base, then the hydrogen's gonna cook my meal nice. Oh, I wish I'd not started this without doing some tinkering, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the rock granulator. Uh, we've got, we've got um, refined gold. We've actually got some of that, we're okay. Um. All the power you have, maybe some lights over a berry farm, just to boost deco may not be so bad. The problem with the berry farm is it needs water dragon, this is what I was just saying. Because we've not secured our water geysers yet, uh, we don't really have much water. Uh, we certainly don't have any water that's cooled. So it's a bit, a bit of a double edged sword really, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do that we've just not got around to doing. Uh, and I'd hate to say it, but it's because we spent so much time fucking around with hatches. I don't really want to do this. What do we need to do first? Hmm. What do we need to do first here? So we don't actually have that much water in here. This this tank is probably about uh, this size um, when it's all uncompressed. So it's not a massive amount of water. I want to get an oxygen set up so we can get some exosuits because I'd like to be able to get down to our oil biome as well. Um, I just can't decide what sort of oxygen set up to do. I could just do... because I, I, A part of me wants to use the radiant pipes as well. So, 
for example, let's say we did something like, oh shit. Let's say we did something like this. Um, and then we had a gas permeable bottom. Made out of whatever, really. Just something like that. The hatch is amusing to watch, though. Like. I hey, listen. I enjoyed. I enjoyed playing with the hatches, and I like the fact that we have got so much refined metal from these these little smooth bastards. They're very good, um, but on the same token, it took a lot of time fanning about with them. So we're now at cycle 168, and I've not got any any sort of base infrastructure up. We've got no power grid. We've got nothing. So I think what I need to do is let let myself just get a few things set up. And be in a bit of a better position. Uh, so I think I'm going to do the usual. We're going to slap in. Let's see how many tubes are going to have. I'm going to slap in a few electrolyzers. I'm going to have some gas pumps underneath them. I'm going to run some radiant liquid pipes through the room, and I'm going to use some of this slush water to cool off the oxygen. That's the plan. Um, and ideally, if we can cool the room down enough, the warmed-up water will then send elsewhere, and we'll maybe use the new. There's a new thermo switch, isn't there? Liquid pipe thermo sensor. So if water gets too warm in the pipe, we can send it to a fertilizer bank or something like that. I think that could be a good idea. I think that could be good. So let's get this done. I want to get this done before the end of the stream. Because, holy shit, I don't want to be that salty again. I don't want to have another stream where we're getting pissed off. Because, honestly, I don't enjoy that. I don't stream to shout. I stream to play games and make mistakes. So, that said, let's do this. So, let's knock these out for a second, so we can get in here. Um, I think we can use the, um, again we'll use the gaseous sensors, so I'll probably just do something like this, like two pumps, maybe like that or something. Um, and then down here, let's see, that's 244.80. Do something like this. Okay. Oh, did not mean to do that. Hello? Game? What is this? Let's do a quick save and load. Mm. What about this idea? Adding condensation parameter to the game. So you use a machine to take condensed water that's present in, in, in the air. The oxygen generator that consumes water could also give condensed water. Huh. I enjoy your mistakes, that's why I watch. Hey, listen, Nexus, I'm no problem with making mistakes. What I've got a problem with is 50 people giving me their input of how I should do something better than the way that I'm doing it. I'm learning. If I'm learning, you need to give me a little bit of breathing space or I'll lose my shit. Hmm. Pasherin, nice. A wild plastic Draco. That would make my life so much more fucking easier right now. Right. Okay, the random phantom pipe is gone. So, let's think about this for a minute. I think what I kind of want to do... I don't know if I want to do like a big body of water in the middle of the build or actually just use radiant pipes. I don't know how well these radiant pipes work. You know, the new uh, liquid ones. These bastards. Holy shit, they're expensive as well. So I only really care about cooling the oxygen down. Honestly. But I probably want to cool the electrolyzer a little bit, because that will help. The electrolyzer have a big massive metal, so if I can cool them down a little bit as well, that would be quite nice. Um, we're on cycle 20. 
Oh, you're 20 cycles away of your mice. Uh, dealing with some some of the same issues. Yeah. Um, tell you what we're going to do. Let's do this. Fuck my life. Let's do this. So these are all going to need filters on them still. Just in case. Probably merge two of these pipes together. That's going to give us one kilo per second. Which is not really enough. We have 16 dupes. We need more oxygen. Don't need more pumps in here, unfortunately. Well, I could maybe do some of the excess with this pump. I don't think this is big enough where it is. Let's cancel this before I go on. This isn't going to be big enough. So let's drop this down a little bit. We'll deconstruct all this crap that's here because we don't want any of this anymore. Um, we'll get rid of you. I just need more space for the gas to disperse, really. So I'm thinking we'll do like quite a localised area of, uh, of pipe. So this is probably going to need to be a little bit lower. We'll replace all this, get our metal back. And we'll get rid of you. Our radiant pipe is going to be something like, let's see, wow this is using a lot of gold, holy shit, yeah that'll be fine, let's get to making some gold, uh, we'll use a bit of iron, no we'll stick to gold, fuck it. We've got a lot of stuff to be building, so it's fine. <laughs> you lose your sit you lose your shit so we don't play in this game. At the top right and bottom left gas flow desire. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Hygiene can come out this way and oxygen can come out that way. <laughs> Uh, we're going to need some ladders in here, so I'll get this pipe built first, or the majority of this pipe built. And then we'll think where we're going to put our gas pumps. I, I always quite enjoy the electrolyzer build, because it's something you only really get to do once. Um, but on the same token, if you do it, if you do it wrong, it can really bite you in the ass. Poorly. They do look pretty, these pipes, has to be said. They're a little bit weird, but they do look pretty. Use the gaseous element sensor with an AND gate. Then that's what we'll do. So we'll do, let's see. I want it to be that and also an Atmo sensor. Because, oh shit. There we go. Yeah, 
little slap in the iron gate here as well. And then we can say turn on if this gas is present and the pressure is this. And that should be fine, I think. I think the gas sensor will be better lower than the atmo sensor. Oh shit. Yeah, because it could be sensing it could be sensing the pressure of oxygen rather than hydrogen. That is a fair point. That is a fair point. Uh, let's fix this. Totally agree with you. That makes a lot of sense. So we'll do that there. So it has to be sensing hydrogen. As long as it's sensing hydrogen and the pressure is whatever this is, yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of gold. Uh, is there any any wire I can steal back? Yeah, I think this should work. I'm, I'm, I hope these um, gaseous element sensors are pretty accurate. Like, I hope they toggle on and off very quickly. Uh, these are going to need power as well. Hmm. Warden, warning. Rain